This problem states that suppose a baseball player had 248 hits in a season. In the given probability distribution, the random variable x represents the number of hits the player obtained in a game. So the way you read this chart is x is the number of hits that the player gets in a game, so the probability that a player gets zero hits is 0.1334. The probability a player gets only one hit is 0.4473, and so on. All right. So the first thing they want us to do is to compute the mean. So what would be, if a player played a bunch of games, game after game after game, what would be the average number of hits that he would get? That's what this is going to end up, this mu x. That's the mean of the probability distribution. And the way that you find it is to use this formula right here. Mu x equals the sum of x times p of x. So what I already did was I clicked on that little icon there and I copied this information into Excel. So the next thing I do is I look at the formula and I go, oh, to find this, the mean, I have to multiply x times p of x and then add them all up. So I come on over to Excel and I realize that I need an x times p of x column. So I type that in for a column heading and I go to the cell directly below that. I type an equal sign in first and I go, where's x in this row? It's the zero, so I click on the zero. Times is asterisk, and where's the p of x in this row? It's the 0.1134, so I click on that and I hit enter. And zero times 0.1334 is zero, that's good, but I don't have to do that for every row, I can just do that trick where I, I click on the zero, I move my cursor till I get a black cross here, I left mouse click, I drag down, and I release. Okay, so it did all that for me. Now the formula says I gotta add up the x times p of x's, so I'm gonna come to the bottom of that column, look for my little sum guy, sum, hit enter. So it looks like I got, look like I got 1.479, so if you round that to one decimal, it would be an answer of 1.5. So your mean is 1.5. That would be the answer to part A. Now part B is going to ask you for the standard deviation. And it's this formula where you have to take the square root of the sum of x squared p of x minus the mean squared, the mean that you just computed, which is actually right here. Right? So I look at the formula and I go, hmm. I see an x squared in there, so guess what? I think I need an x squared column, so I'll just use that little hat to represent x to the 2 power. I come down below that, first thing you always remember is you put an equal sign in. Where's the x in that row? It's the 0, I click on that, but it's squared times itself, so I put an asterisk in and I click on it again. So I should have equals a2 times a2. I hit enter, so that's just did 0 squared and I use that method to fill in the rest of the column. So I think I squared all my x's. Then I look back at the formula and it's x squared times p of x. One more column you guys. x squared times p of x column. Okay, so I come below that. I put the equal in sign in first. In this row, where's the x squared? It's this zero, so I click on that. I put an asterisk in for times, and where's p of x? It's this guy. It's the 0.1134. So I got equal d2 times b2. I hit enter. I fill in the rest of the column with our trick. Then I look at the formula, and I go, oh, I got to add that column up. So I add that column up using our sum function. OK, what I usually do at this point is I come over to here. I put an equal sign in. Now I'm going to do this formula right here. And I see this big square root sign. So the function in um, Excel for square root is SQRT. And you put whatever you want to get the square root of in parentheses. So I put an open parenthesis in. It says the sum of the x squared p of x. Gee, that's this guy right here, the 3.2145. Don't type that. Click on it. Then I look at the formula, it says minus, so I put a minus sign in, and it says the mean squared. Where was the mean? It was the 1.47 that we rounded to 1.5 before. 
So I click on that, but it's squared, so it's times itself. Click on it again, close parenthesis, hit enter, and this would be the answer for your mean. It'd be, I mean for your standard deviation, it'd be 1.0 if they have you round it. I think that's it.